All right, you guys. So let's start out with the highly anticipated. Hold on. Here we go. Let's start out with the highly anticipated Mac wash and dry collection. Okay. Everybody and their mama was talking about that collection. Trend Mood like blasted it. Like every time I looked on Trend Mood, um, it was on there. That's the Instagram, Trend Mood one. They're pretty awesome with um, updates and, and telling us what's new and everything like that. Hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. Let me get my life together. There we go. I just feel like I'm too close. Like I'm not doing a makeup tutorial here. Okay. So Trend Mood is pretty awesome with kind of like letting us know what's coming out, what has come out, you know, special edition and things like that. So I really do like Trend Mood, but I mean, they was like really broadcasting that thing and I'm just like, whoa, okay, like it's about to be awesome. So, you know, I do believe that it was one of the better collections that I've seen at MAC. Um, it was definitely like, cause I remember last year they came out with that like rainy one. Um, the aquatic or something like that collection, which is pretty cool too. I got a couple things from that. Um, but let me just get into how I, what I got from it, okay? So I got the Freshen Up Highlight Powder. And it looks like, I mean, the visual is amazing. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. I had it in the light. I'm crazy. Um, it's three different colors. There's like a sheen on top of it that gives you like the highlight look. It's more of like a coral highlighter so for me it's beautiful like I love this highlighter um you can use just one color so like if you're more of like if you want more of that golden highlight you can just use the one at the bottom there's the coral in the middle and then there's the more of like a reddish or not reddish but reddish orange really um so this thing is awesome and the packaging is beautiful I completely loved it so I I definitely think this is a love it um I also got the lipstick um, and tumble dry. I also have steam, steam up or no, that's Yash. These are all in the, my lipsticks are all in the wrong place. Um, I have another one. I don't know where it is, but, um, this one was very sheer. I actually have it on right now, but I have it on with a gloss. Um, the swatch looks like this. So it's very hard to see on my skin tone, but it is, it is definitely, I feel like a summer color because it's sheer. And you really, unless you're doing a statement lip, then you really don't, I don't really like a lot of color in the summer. So I do still like this lipstick and the packaging is super awesome. If anything, I feel like it's just a collector's item and you just need one, like at least one. I um, mean, this one wasn't a re-release. So this is a brand new lipstick. It wasn't like creme de nude. I was just like, I'm not going to pay $17.50 for a lipstick that I can get for $16 just because it's packaging. No. Um, so that one is pretty awesome. Then we have the two lip glosses that came out. There were actually, I think, four lip glosses. These two were my favorites. I got Girl on Board because I've never seen a lip gloss that was, like, white. And at first I was like, mm, this looks like something I already have. But then when I actually saw it in the store, I was like, oh, my gosh, yes. So this one is, like, completely white. And if you wear it just by itself, it might look like you are on some type of drug. But when you mix it in with that um, tumble dry, it is gorgeous. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. So definitely try that out. Try mixing the two. Um, if you feel like it's too, I'm sorry, I just fixed my lighting. Um, if you feel like it's too white, because I, it's a beautiful color and there's nothing like it. So this is a, like, I love this color. I probably should have got two. Um, I also got Domestic Diva, which is kind of, it reminds me of Watermelon. So this one's really super pretty also. I like this one a lot. This one you can wear by itself. I've gotten so many compliments when I wear this by itself. They're just like, what is on your lip? And I'm like, oh, it's just this. They're like, wow, it looks so beautiful on you. I'm like, well, you know. But anywho, so definitely a love it. These two definitely love it. I would probably say the whole, the, everything that I got from the collection is a love it. Um, they had some bronzers and stuff that I wanted to get. Like, I wanted to get refined golden, but I have refined golden. So, I was just like, I think I'm just wasting my money getting it for in the special packaging. So, I, I decided not to get that. But, you know, I might get it later on if it's still available. Um, but right now, I'm just like, I already have it. So, what's the point? Um, then, I'm kind of going to skip around a little bit. I was at Ulta the other day picking up some lashes for this wedding I was doing. 
and they had these ones there's like what three sets of lashes in the 999 now this is nothing like when I get my lashes in bulk from the alley in LA but this is a pretty good price and they're pretty dramatic I love my lashes dramatic I didn't actually end up using these for my makeover because they were a little bit too dramatic I love dramatic lashes so it, it didn't really bother me but I was just like nah that ain't gonna work for you um, then I also got some Katy Perry lashes these were about a dollar and some change and I mean they were like on clearance or whatever so I was like I just get, grabbed all of them because I said you know these especially kind of look like 34s or something or 36s from Mac and so I'm like you know why not they're a dollar so and then these ones are kind of like the uh, Ardell double lashes so I grabbed these too whatever if I waste a dollar, then I waste a dollar. I have actually worn these ones. I think they look awesome on. They're very pretty. I get a lot of compliments on my lashes when I wear these ones. So I'm going to try to find some more of these at Ulta because I think they're a great deal. Um, so we got that. Then I also picked up, you know, to rewind back, I think those will love it too. Um, to rewind back, I got this palette too. I forgot, totally forgot about this. This is the Green Clean palette. This palette is everything. So this is a love. Definitely love it. This one, like, it's $27.50 or something like that, and it's totally worth it. This green color right here in the middle, the other colors are whatever, but this green color right here in the middle, oh my gosh, whenever I wear this color, people are just like, what is on your eyes? Like, wow. Like, it is so pretty it's just like this electric green and it's just awesome i haven't seen anything you know that mac has come out with that was in the same formula as this that look like that now there's colors that are similar that have come out like maybe in the simpsons collection or something like that but nothing in the same formula it's so soft it's velux pearl fusion shadow so it's it's really super soft so it goes on really really pigmented love this palette definitely worth it um, I also picked up the Melt Cosmetic um, Stack, and it's in Lovesick. They didn't have the other one available. forgot what it's called. Uh, that's the one I really wanted, but, you know, they had their, like, 25% off or something when they hit a certain amount of followers. So I definitely jumped on this, and I got this stack. I have used this color here, which is kind of like the corally color, and I love it. The consistency of these eyeshadows is awesome. They are super pigmented. Like, you don't need a little bit goes a long way, which is what I really like. And they're magnetized. So I think that's pretty cool. Like, to where you can just like, you know, like, hey, boom. And this red is awesome. So definitely I love it. I would definitely invest in this. I think they're like 46 or 36 or 39. I don't know. But they, you do have to pay for shipping. So if you're planning on ordering something from Mel, Order it all at the same time because you, I mean, it's like $7 for shipping or $6 for shipping. So it can get kind of pricey. I hate paying for shipping, but you know, I felt like it was worth it because I did get 25% off and I really did want these. So definitely worth it. Um, I also got the Tarte Foundation, um, the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This stuff is awesome. It's, I would compare it to my um, Double Wear by Estee Lauder. I don't have it on now. I have on um, 5.0 Matchmaster because that's like my favorite foundation ever. But this stuff is so beautiful on. Like it makes my skin so pretty. And in the summer, it's like perfect. It's like your skin just looks so healthy and glowy. Like it's amazing. And if you mix this foundation in with your... Um, maracuja oil just like a little drop of it it makes you glow and it won't make you oily it'll make you glow so definitely this is a great investment i think they're 39 dollars, and a little bit goes a long way definitely invest in the brush that you that they ask you to uh use with it because if you apply it with a regular foundation brush you it'll be super heavy because it's a thick foundation it's made of clay definitely awesome foundation so love it what I also got recently, which I'm so, I know I'm late, is Fix Plus Spray. I use Fix Plus Spray for everything, okay? I spray, spray my face with it. I spray my highlighters with it. I spray my eyeshadows with it, everything. This stuff is a great investment. It's $22 for the big one, $10 for the little one. You should always have a little one just for your bag. Um, definitely a great investment. Love it. I know this is old, but this is definitely great. So invest in that. 
Um, I don't know if I said this, I showed this in the last video, but I'm gonna show it again. This is the contour kit. And this is the Anastasia contour kit in medium to tan. Um, I do love this. I love the idea of it. Super love it. I kind of wish I would have made my own palette or got the light palette because this one does not come with the banana powder and I wear the banana powder. So, um, if you are like my color, then I would probably get both, but I would probably lean more towards the light palette. Even though everyone's going to tell you to get the tan palette, I would get the light palette. And when I say I'm my, my color, I'm NC42, uh, 5.0 in Matchmaster, and in the Amazonian Clay, I am tan sand. So I like, I, I, I don't know, I just feel like this is definitely a love it if I probably would have got the right one. So... Yeah, I would leave this just because I got the right, the wrong one. Kind of get that. Okay. So that's great. And then I got two lip glosses from MAC. One is Balancely Beige, which is kind of like just a, like a, just a regular gloss. And it's very pretty just to put on anything. I am not super into gloss, but I love like a clear gloss. Just to add a little pop to it, it has a little glitter. This is a pro long wear, so it stays all day. Then I have a Dazzle Glass and Sugar Rimmed. Sugar Rimmed is my absolute favorite gla uh, lip gloss. It's beautiful. Everybody, when I bought these, they were like, these are like the same thing. They're not. One is more pink or coral or something. One's different. So I don't care what anybody says. I love these. So this is definitely a love it. Invest, Balancely Beige, and Sugar Rimmed. I also got, and I'm excited, um, these two from Colored Rain um, Lip Stains. I got Truffle Rain and Suede. Now, the other ones that I want are not available at this time. So, once they do get available, like the dark purple one and stuff like that, I will pick those up. Absolutely love these. These are amazing. They look awesome. I have a picture on my Instagram of me wearing Truffle Rain. It's like that dark brown chocolate cover color. Beautiful color. These are definitely a love it. I think these are about $16 or something like that. I don't know. Um, you do have to pay for shipping with them too, but I think these are well worth it, but definitely when whenever I order from these websites that don't offer free shipping for a certain amount that you spend, I feel like I like have to order everything at the same time, and if I don't, I can't just order one because I'm not about to pay shipping for each and every one. You know what I'm saying? So that irritates me. I wish that some of these websites would do more like, you know, some like Macy's and stuff, like spend $50, you get free shipping or, you know, so on and so forth. That would help. I think that a lot of more people would buy if you guys had offered free shipping. So just my little tidbit into y'all. So do as you please. Um, also... I got one of these extra dimension eyeshadows. It's called A Natural Flirt. And it's this light, very light color here. And it's very pretty. Their extra dimension eyeshadows are awesome. They're super pigmented. You need very little. Um, this is definitely a love it. I would, they're 20 bucks, so they're a little pricey. Um, that's my only, that's my only issue is that they're $20. I'm pretty cheap. So I don't know if you guys know that yet. You probably do. I don't know. But $20 is a lot for one eyeshadow. So, you know, they're beautiful, but these are permanent. So you don't have to run out and get them, you know, right now. Um, the next thing that I got a sample of is a skin base uh, primer. Now, I you remember last video, I was like super on a primer kick. And I actually ended up trying all those primers that I said I hadn't tried yet. And I really do like them. I really do like the Urban Decay one. I like the uh, Smashbox one. You just have to put on more. And that was my problem. I wasn't putting on enough. Ooh. This light's kind of hot in here. Um, I wasn't putting on enough. This stuff is from MAC, and it's pretty good. Um, I'm pretty oily, so, you know, I, I feel like, let me just do a little, a little side note. When you're oily, moisturize. So I know that a lot of us that are oily don't want to moisturize, but you need to moisturize because your skin will just keep like producing more oil because you're draining your oil. Like you're take, trying to take all your oil out and your skin is just going to try to hydrate your skin. So just make sure that like in my last video I did or in whatever, whenever I post these, um, I use the mineralized charged water. That stuff is awesome, especially if your skin is like oily. Um, I know that it sounds crazy to put a moisturizer on, but it helps It helps a lot. And the uh, application, um, when you're putting your makeup on, is much smoother. So, invest. Uh, 
this is, I could have left this, to be honest with you. I could have left this, even though I did, it was a sample, but this is a leave it. Um, I have my ColourPop highlighters. Okay, so now I have, I bought four of them, and I have, I should have had these all out of boxes. Highly Wasted, I kept hearing about this one, and it's very pretty. Um, it's a little bit dark for my taste. I feel like this maybe is a nighttime highlighter for me. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, but it's okay. This one, I feel like I could have left it. Um, there's also this one here. And I'll still, I'm still going to use them. But I just feel like I probably should have got a different one. Because they came out with a gang of them. I maybe could have left that one. Um, there's this one that's called Spoon. And this one looks like that. So it's a little bit like more silvery kind of. Um, I'd probably wear this in the evening time. This is Spoon. This one's okay. I could have left this one also. This what people were hyping it up. So I thought it was pretty going to be awesome. Um, so whatever. It is what it is. It was like $8. Who like It's not a big deal. Um, then I also got Wisp. Now Wisp is a love it. So definitely love this one. It is beautiful like 